Hey everyone, Tim here. Yes, I'm wearing her. I am finally going to review something before Jennifer Cudney can. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna review something before Jennifer Cudney can. Even though I'm a fan of yours, Jennifer. And yes, you could put that in a, in a clip of future whatever you want to, if you want to. I'm going to review... <clears throat> All right, here's my, my back, here's how I feel about the chick flick. Some of the best teen films, I love a chick flick because you have John Hughes, which in my opinion is a master of um, teen movies, and a chick flick, 16 Candles, Pretty in Pink, writing or directing. Directing for 16 Candles and writing for Pretty in Pink. Um, and the man can just like do so much for what he want, like what he wanted. I really enjoyed him. Um, <clears throat> career opportunities. And some of the best chick flicks I really enjoy. Uh, Princess Bride. Um, A League of Their Own. One of the biggest blockbusters of all time, Titanic, is a chick flick. So that's just, and it's directed by James Cameron. That says a lot. So I'm going to review a film I really enjoy. And the film that kind of made me a man. <laughs> humor, puberty humor, puberty humor. But, um, Wild Child. <sighs> Juno Temple, Kimberly Nixon. Speak to me. Yes, Wild Child, which stars, um, Emma Roberts, Kimberly Nixon. Um, oh my god, I always get Aiden Quinn. <laughs> And uh, the late Natasha Richardson. So this is a really enjoyable film. It's written. This got some talent behind it. Because it's written by Lucy Dahl. If you don't know who Lucy Dahl is. You probably don't know who her father is. So Wild Child is a film that it's it has an attractive Emma Roberts. And she... Yeah, I'm telling you. This is the movie that, you know... All you guys out there, you probably know what I mean. Um, <laughs> she plays a character named Poppy, which is very spoiled, bratty. And she's kind of like the young... She's kind of like... Um, what? But uh, Regina... She's like a Regina George. And she... Does the last... She does, it's the last straw, and she goes to this place in, I think, England. I think England because they all speak English and it's a my Lanta um I always have a thing for school like school girls in movies um don't and St. Trinian I'm gonna review very soon and um yeah I really I I, I dig it I it's a the, she's like a little she ends up like in the little lacrosse team and she actually showed they actually show the the inner it what I always like about this is um they show her the inner side and she shows them the outer side like it's like the other way around and um the ending guys growing up and got did you ever you know at that ending he's probably did um <laughs> uh, <laughs> Julie Cudney's probably why just what? No, I love this movie because it, it probably, she probably wouldn't think so, but I, I don't know. I really enjoy the, there's, there's things about like, uh, the best parts are her, because my arm is just killing me. Her and Kimberly Nixon's character, um, where is she? The one right here by the, Right here by Natasha Richardson. Um, get very close. And then there's Juno Temple. One of my favorite human beings. And um, can't wait to get that shirt. I, I just enjoy. I just enjoy their chemistry. They're really good together. Uh, they're really good friends. And then um, I think it's Alex Pettifer. It's really cool in this movie. And um, yeah. I like to see. I loved seeing his evolution as well for as, as an actor like going from a pretty boy to a pretty badass like dude in some movies so that's cool but 
other, other than I really enjoy and this is what inspired Poppy. I am Poppy to get her name Poppy. So it's another like wild, wild child has inspired a lot of people and me with some sketches I'm going to be doing. So I love you all. Um, love this movie. Uh, see you real soon.